starting a ketogenic diet can be a great way to improve your health and reach your weight loss goals. However, it is important to approach it correctly in order to avoid any potential negative effects. Here are some steps to help you start keto correctly. Educate yourself. Learn about the basics of the ketogenic diet, including what foods to eat and what to avoid. You should also understand the science behind the diet and how it affects your body. Consult a healthcare professional. Before starting any new diet, it is important to consult a healthcare professional, especially if you have any pre-existing medical conditions. Your healthcare provider can help you determine if the ketogenic diet is a good fit for you and provide guidance on how to get started. Plan your meals. Once you have a good understanding of the ketogenic diet, plan your meals to ensure you are getting the right balance of macronutrients, fat, protein, and carbohydrates. There are many resources online to help you plan your meals, including keto-friendly recipes and meal plans. Focus on healthy fats. The ketogenic diet is high in fat, but it is important to focus on healthy fats, such as those found in avocados, nuts, and olive oil. Avoid trans fats and highly processed vegetable oils. Track your macros. It is important to track your macronutrient intake, fat, protein, and carbohydrates to ensure you are staying within the recommended ranges for the ketogenic diet. There are many apps available to help you track your macros. Stay hydrated. The ketogenic diet can be dehydrating, so it is important to drink plenty of water and electrolyte-rich fluids like bone broth to stay hydrated. Be patient. It may take some time for your body to adjust to the ketogenic diet, so be patient and don't give up too quickly. Stick to the diet and be consistent with your efforts, and you will likely start seeing results. Here are the basics of the ketogenic diet. What is the ketogenic diet? The ketogenic diet is a high-fat, low-carbohydrate diet that is designed to induce a state of ketosis in the body. This is a metabolic state in which the body burns fat for fuel instead of carbohydrates. How does it work? By limiting carbohydrate intake, the body is forced to burn fat for energy instead of glucose. This leads to the production of ketones, which are molecules that are used for energy by the body and the brain. What foods are allowed? The ketogenic diet is based on whole, nutrient-dense foods such as meat, fish, eggs, non-starchy vegetables, nuts and seeds, healthy fats, and some dairy products. Foods that are high in carbohydrates, such as grains, sugar, and most fruits, are generally avoided. What are macros? The ketogenic diet is based on the concept of macros, which are macronutrients that provide energy to the body. The three main macros are fat, protein, and carbohydrates. On the ketogenic diet, the aim is to consume a high proportion of calories from fat, a moderate amount from protein, and a low amount from carbohydrates. How many carbs are allowed? The exact amount of carbohydrates allowed on the ketogenic diet can vary, but most people aim to consume fewer than 50 grams of net carbs per day. Net carbs are calculated by subtracting the fiber content from the total carbohydrate content. What are the benefits? The ketogenic diet has been shown to have many potential benefits, including weight loss, improved blood sugar control, increased energy levels, and improved cognitive function. What are the potential risks? The ketogenic diet is generally considered safe for most people, but it can lead to some potential risks, such as nutrient deficiencies, constipation, and the keto flu, which is a temporary set of symptoms that can occur during the transition to a ketogenic diet. It is important to work with a healthcare professional when starting the ketogenic diet to ensure that it is safe for you. These are the basics of the ketogenic diet. As with any diet, it is important to approach it carefully. Protein is an important macronutrient on the ketogenic diet, but it is important to balance protein intake with fat intake to ensure that you are staying in a state of ketosis. Here are some things to keep in mind regarding protein on the ketogenic diet. The recommended protein intake. As mentioned in my previous answer, the recommended protein intake on the ketogenic diet is typically between 0.6 to 1.0 grams of protein per pound of lean body mass. 
This will vary depending on your individual needs and goals, so it is important to work with a healthcare professional to determine the right protein intake for you. Choose high quality protein sources. When selecting protein sources on the ketogenic diet, it is important to choose high quality sources that are low in carbohydrates. Good sources of protein on the ketogenic diet include meat, poultry, fish, eggs, and low carb dairy products. Avoid processed meats. Processed meats such as hot dogs, sausages, and deli meats are often high in sodium and other additives that can be detrimental to your health. These should be avoided or consumed in moderation on the ketogenic diet. Be mindful of protein portions. Consuming too much protein can lead to gluconeogenesis, where excess protein is converted into glucose, potentially interfering with ketosis. Be mindful of your protein portions and stick to your recommended range. Balance protein with fat intake. It is important to balance your protein intake with fat intake to ensure that you are staying in a state of ketosis. Consuming too much protein without enough fat can kick you out of ketosis. So be sure to incorporate healthy fats into your diet, such as avocados, nuts and seeds, and oils like olive and coconut. By following these guidelines, you can ensure that you are consuming the right amount of protein on the ketogenic diet to support your health and wellness goals. Fat is a key macronutrient on the ketogenic diet, as it is the primary source of energy for the body when carbohydrates are limited. Here are some things to keep in mind regarding fat on the ketogenic diet. The recommended fat intake. On the ketogenic diet, the recommended fat intake is typically between 60 to 75% of your daily calorie intake. This will vary depending on your individual needs and goals, so it is important to work with a healthcare professional to determine the right fat intake for you. Choose healthy fat sources. When selecting fat sources on the ketogenic diet, it is important to choose healthy sources that are nutrient-dense. Good sources of healthy fats on the ketogenic diet include avocados, nuts and seeds, olive oil, coconut oil, grass-fed butter, and fatty fish, such as salmon and sardines. Incorporate saturated and monounsaturated fats. While saturated fat has been controversial in the past, research has shown that it can be a healthy part of a balanced diet. Monounsaturated fats are also important on the ketogenic diet, as they can help improve cholesterol levels and reduce inflammation. Good sources of saturated and monounsaturated fats on the ketogenic diet include grass-fed beef, cheese, eggs, nuts, and olive oil. Avoid trans fats. Trans fats should be avoided on the ketogenic diet, as they have been linked to numerous health issues including heart disease. Trans fats are often found in processed foods, fried foods, and baked goods, so it is important to read food labels carefully and avoid these types of foods. Track your fat intake. To ensure that you are consuming the right amount of fat on the ketogenic diet, it is important to track your fat intake using a food diary or an app. This will help you stay within your recommended fat range and ensure that you are getting the right balance of macronutrients for your body. By following these guidelines, you can ensure that you are consuming healthy sources of fat on the ketogenic diet to support your health and wellness goals. Intermittent fasting is a popular dietary approach that involves alternating periods of fasting and eating. When combined with the ketogenic diet, intermittent fasting can help accelerate weight loss and improve metabolic health. Here are some tips for adding intermittent fasting to a keto diet. Start with a shorter fast. If you are new to intermittent fasting, it is best to start with a shorter fast, such as a 12-hour fast overnight. As you become more comfortable with fasting, you can gradually increase the length of your fasts. Choose the right fasting schedule. There are several different fasting schedules you can choose from, including the 16 8 method, fasting for 16 hours and eating during an eight hour window, or the five to two method, eating normally for five days and restricting calories to 500 to 600 for two days. Experiment with different schedules to find the one that works best for you. Stay hydrated. It is important to stay hydrated during your fasts, 
so be sure to drink plenty of water and other non-caloric beverages such as herbal tea or black coffee. Plan your meals. When breaking your fast, it is important to choose nutrient-dense, keto-friendly foods that will help you meet your daily macronutrient goals. Plan your meals ahead of time to ensure that you are getting the right balance of protein, fat, and carbohydrates. Listen to your body. Intermittent fasting can be challenging at first, so it is important to listen to your body and adjust your fasting schedule as needed. If you feel lightheaded or dizzy, break your fast with a small, keto-friendly meal. By adding intermittent fasting to your ketogenic diet, you can further enhance the benefits of this dietary approach and support your health and wellness goals. However, it is important to work with a healthcare professional to determine if intermittent fasting is right for you and to ensure that you are getting the right balance of nutrients for your body.